ஸ்ருதிஸ்ருதிபுராணம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நவாயு பகவத்பாதம் சங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் சங்கரம் சங்கராச்சாரியம் கேசவம் பாதராயணம் சூத்திரபாஷ்யவ் வந்தே பகவந்தோ புனஃப் புனஃ ஈஸ்வரோ குருராத்மேதி மூர்த்திபேத விபாகினே வியோமவியாப்தேஹாய தட்சிணாமூர்த்தை சனோத்து சனவீரியங்கரவாவை நாராயண பரோவியம் மண்டசியாந்தீவாச்சிதேபிரிக்கிருசுபந்தாதிர்தாத்தேஷ்லோகிஸ்வாஜ்ஞ the 28 shloka vishay dravya yajna tapo yajna yoga yajna sthapare swadhyay jnana yajna cha yate samshrita vata vrata so yet is we are looking at all the yajnas possible yajnas which are listed as examples there can be many yajnas possible and all those yajnas are compared and what is shreshta is the jnana yajna this is the purpose of this uh, section of the fourth chapter so dravya yajna ha dravya yajna those who give the uh, give dana give dana in uh, that itself becomes a yajna in tirtha kshetra etc tapah tapah becomes yajna yoga becomes yajna ashtanga yoga tatha apare swadhyaya jnana yajna last time i had mentioned swasya uh, adhyaya or svena adhyaya both meanings are possible by derivation but here the applicable meaning is veda because you have pramana veda vakya which says that swadhyay vadyeshtavya so swadhyaya swasya adhyaya there swa shakha uh, as nitya karma swa shakha study study and chanting so this is vedic chanting our own shakha we should chant why our own shakha because uh, it is considered a dosha to chant someone else else's shakha without study of our own shakha because we are born in that sampraday we are supposed to preserve it we owe it to our rishis to our forefathers to keep our tradition alive and thereby learning our swashaka is is considered a duty thereby chanting it how do you give it to the other generation if you yourself don't know it so daily you have to as an nitya karma swadhyaya has to be done and jnana uh, further study of that veda or vedanta both are included here so swadhyay jnana yajna that becomes a yajna and uh, our own uh, shakha because nowadays people don't have memory for even own shakha it has to be written in memory earlier there used to be chaturvedis trivedis dvivedis now even the single veda people don't study forget remembering them they don't study itself so swadhyay has to be done jnana has to be done this becomes a yajna and taitri upanishad uh, says ஸ்வாத்தியாய ஸ்டடி அண்ட் தென் டீச்சிங் ஸ்வாத்தியாய பிரவச்சனாபியம் ஸ்வாத்தியாய பிரவச்சனாபியம் தேர் ஷுட் பி நோ ஐ ஃபர்கெட் தி மந்த்ர மை காட் ஸோ தட்ஸ் நாட் ஐ சேங் ஸ்வாத்தியாய் வி டோன்ட் ஹேவ் மெமரி ஸோ வி டோன்ட் கெட் டைம் டு சேண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் ஆஸ் வெல் ஸோ தேர் பை ஸ்வாத்தியாய பிரவச்சனாபியம் பிரமோதித்தவிய ஸோ பிரமாத ஷுட் நாட் பி டன் ஒன் ஷுட் நாட் ஹேவ் அ ஸ்லிப் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்வாத்தியா அண்ட் பிரவச்சனா தட் இஸ் பிரவச்சனா ஆல்சோ ஹஸ் ஸ்பெஷல் மீனிங் தேர் டீச்சிங் ஸோ ஸ்டடி அண்ட் டீச்சிங் ஆஃப் ஒன்ஸ் ஓன் ஷாகா ஷுட் பி தர்ம அண்ட் தேட் பிகம்ஸ் அ யஜ்ஞ ஸோ நித்திய கர்ம இட் செல்ஃப் வாஸ் அ யஜ்ஞ ஸ்வாத்தியாய ஜான யஜ்ஞ யதய சம்ஸ்கிருத வி சோ தட் தோஸ் ஹூ ஹேவ் வெரி ஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் ரூல்ஸ் டு ஃபாலோ in sanyasa they are samshita vrataha so this these are the yajnas kincha moreover apa neju hati pranam prane panan tatha pare prana panagati rudhva pranayama parayana so pranam apa neju hati someone else what uh, some people what do they do pranam apa neju hati the prana prana is the uh, exhaled air exhale apana is inhaled air so inhaled uh, unto the inhaled air they offer the exhaled air air so pranayama is explained here and there are various types of pranayama 
थ्री आर मेन्शन यर प्राणम प्राणम अपाने जो होती सो एक्सेल लेयर इज ऑफर्ड इन टू द इनहेल लेयर एंड देन इनहेल लेयर इज ऑफर्ड इन टू द एक्सेल लेयर सो तथा अपरे प्राणे अपानम जो होती सो जो होती है अनुवृत्ति इन द नेक्स्ट पाद आल्सो सो देन प्राणा पान गति रुद्धवा गति सो दिस इज ड्यूअल सेकंड केस ड्यूअल प्राणा पान गति रुद्धवा तो आप प्रत्यंत Stopping this prana and apana, so not inhaling and exhaling. So doing kumbaka. So earlier to talked about uh, rechaka and uh, what is the other word? Uh, so I forget the word. So anyway, so th- those are the pranayama terms. Um, puraka, puraka, I think. Puraka and rechaka. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, just remembered in time. So puraka, rechaka, and then kumbaka. So kumbaka can be bahya kumbaka, it could be anta kumbaka. You hold the air inside or you hold the air outside. But rudhva, you are not doing prana and apana. You are not inhaling and exhaling. Actually, slowing down the breath cycle itself gives a longer life because the life is in terms of count of breaths. So yogis know that I can extend my life by stopping the breath or reducing the uh, number of breaths per minute. Prana ayama parayana. So they are what? Pranayama, Pranayama eva param ayanam yesham te Pranayama parayanaha. This is Bhauri. So those who have our commitment, their highest commitment is to Pranayama. That is their sadhana, that is their yajna. So this becomes a yajna, although yajna word is not there. Contextually it is a yajna. Uh, so, Apane, Pranam juhati and Prane, Apanam tatha, Apare. सो तथा अपरे अपाने प्राणम जुहति प्राणे अपानम जुहति अपरे दिस कैन बी टेकन एज सेपरेट पीपल और दोज हु फोकस ओनली ऑन रेचक आर देयर दोज हु फोकस ओनली ऑन पूरक आर देयर दोज हु फॉलो ओनली कुंभका इज आर देयर सो देयर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल प्राणायाम परायण अपरे तथा अपरे प्राणायाम परायण अपाने प्राणम जुहति प्राणे अपानु जुहति एंड प्राणा सो तथा अपरे अपरे कैन बी बॉट ब्रॉट इन टू द लास्ट पद आल्सो तथा प्राणायाम परायणः गति रुद्धवा प्राणायाम परायणः वी कैन लीव इट दैट वे और वी कैन से प्राणायाम परायण इटसेल्फ एंड देन जुहति वी कैन ब्रिंग अनुवृत्ति दैट इटसेल्फ इज Kumbhaka uh, Rechaka and then earlier one Pooraka Rechaka, this is Pranapana Gati Rudhva is Kumbhaka, this is Rudhva Juhati, so that itself becomes Pranayama, that becomes Yajna. I am not marking the cases, I am hope hoping that the, the uh, cases are clear, this is Saptami, Apane and this uh, Apare is, I will mark this Apare as and then others are Saptami, so I'll mark one, you can mark the others. Yuhati is plural by the way, Yuhati is singular. Kincha, apare, apare niyata hara prana and praneshu juhati sarve pyete jajna vidaha yajna kshapita kalmashaha. So apare, others what they do? Niyata hara, niyata hara, niyata is uh, measured. So, Mahamane, I think Bhashyakara would give another word. Which shloka is this? 30th shloka. Niyatara, Parimitaha. So, Mahamane dhatu Parimitaha, measured. Measured quantity. Not that you eat uh, more or eat less. Measured is balanced. Neither more nor less. You don't starve. If you starve, the mind will run there. So you cannot do any sadhana, you cannot do any meditation or whatever you are committed to. You cannot do anything, whether it is Vyavaharika or whether it is Adhyatmika, you cannot indulge if you are on empty stomach. And if you go stomach full also, you will feel asleep. Therefore, Niyata Ahara, that itself is Yajna. You you would eat measured quantity. And this measured quantity can also mean tapas by you measure every day how much you are eating and thereby uh, this... uh, those who do Chandrayana Vrata, not uh, Chandrayana, that uh, Chandrayana 2 project that Isro has said, but uh, that also is mispronounced. It is Chandrayana. 
वेर इज चांद्रायण व्रता इज चांद्रायण दे प्रोनाउंस इट एनी विच वे दैट इज या ना दैट इज या गति हियर चांद्रायण व्रता वेर यू ईट मेजर्ड एवरी डे एंड यू इनक्रीज अ मॉर्सेल एवरी डे अ मॉर्सेल एवरी डे और वॉट एवर यू ईट ऑन से प्रथमा तिथि यू इनक्रीज दैट विथ दी वैक्सिंग एंड वेनिंग सन यू चेंज यू यू इनक्रीज इट इन शुक्ल पक्ष यू रिड्यूस इट इन कृष्ण पक्ष सो फिफ्टीन डेज यू इनक्रीज युअर फूड हाउ इनक्रीज इन सेंस फर्स्ट डे यू ईट सो यू टेक पूर्णिमा यू शुड हैव अ फुल मील एंड अमावास यू शुड डू यू शुड स्टार that's a vrata for some so what they do is that uh, considering what is their full meal on uh, purnima and amavasya starving you divide into 15 and then uh, on prathama you take one one part of that one part of your full meal on purnima then on second dvitiya you eat twice of that third day more so uh, three parts and so on the entire day you should take only Uh, one 115th increase in from the earlier day till you reach the full meal on purnima and then chaturdashi again uh, um, not chatur chaturdashi is 14th purnima is full meal then krishna paksha starts there you reduce one uh, reduce a little you reduce one part and then on amavasya you will be starving starving as in that is the upavasa you don't eat anything so this is this is a more difficult vrata than doing upavasa because upavasa you get used to but eating less that is uh, mita ahara or niyat ahara that is very controlled so very difficult vrata and then there uh, kritya chandrayana those vratas are talked about in shastras very few people do that i don't know how, anyone who does uh, kritya chandrayana chandrayana is possible some people may do but kritya chandrayana is very difficult their panchagavya is involved in that and panchagavya some say that panchagavya itself is a meal nothing else should be eaten anyway so those that is niyat ahara that becomes a yajna so you are taxing your body and focusing on something as worship of the lord that is niyat ahara is yajna and pranan praneshu juhati sarve api ete yajna vidah yajna kshapita kalmashah so we see the meaning here because the pranan pranesh juhati earlier pranayama has gone by but this uh, this bhashya is not long so we can have a look there niyata ahara niyata parimita ahara yeshamte niyata ahara those who have very limited uh, intake of food limited or measured quantities balance balance is a better word santa pranan and what they do is that prana is causing hunger so there pranan vayu bhedan praneshu eva juvati there by what they are doing is that the same people or other people also uh, it can be the same people or others what they are doing is as a yajna they control the prana there are pancha pranas prana pana vyana udana samana so they have their functional roles this main mukhya prana itself is divided into five and what they do is that earlier we saw prana and apana as which is inhalation and exhalation is controlled the other three here yasya yasya vayo ho jaya ha kriyate itaran vayu bhedan tasmin tasmin juhati so there is a way to have siddhi of each of these pranas you have control over these pranas all the pancha pranas and whichever you win over unto that you offer the others to win over the others as well so that is the siddhi there <coughs> itaran vayu bhedan tasmin tasmin juhati ते तत्र प्रविष्टा एव भवन्ति सो इट इज ऑफर्ड एंड देयर आर अदर वेज आल्सो सो फॉर कुंडलिनी प्रैक्टिशनर्स दे बेस्ड ऑन द चक्र दैट दे आर डूइंग मेडिटेशन ऑन दे हटा योगा स्पेशली हटा योगा सो इन हटा योगा दे फोकस द प्राणा एंड देयर बाय फोर्स द कुंडलिनी मूवमेंट सो ऑल दीज आर हिंटेड हियर दे आर नॉट टॉक्ड अबाउट इन डिटेल बट फॉर एग्जांपल प्राणा एंड अपाना इन अर्लियर आल्सो यू कैन हैव द जंक्शन where should you make the offering so considering the offering offering is made at halfway through where pana and uh, prana and apana meet so if you uh, near the hrudaya akasha so there if you do this then you can win over prana or apana and get that kind of a siddhi and control the movement of kundalini ityadi so anyway yasya yasya vayo jaya kriyate itaran vayu bhedan tasmin tasmin juhati ये तत्र प्रविष्टा एव भवन्ति देन दे बिकम एज दो ऑफर्ड देयर सो दिस इज अ दिस इज दी श्रद्धा एंड दिस इज दी 
uh, way the person has his bhavana and thereby it becomes a yajna because they consider these pranas as uh, those who have a say over us and then they make an offering and thereby they treat them as devatas. Sarve apiyate yajna vidaha, all these are those who know yajna, so yaj, like uh, say uh, atma with, so if you say atma vidaha, then jnanis who know atma, atma tattva, but yajna vidaha is it sufficient to know, just know the yajna, that is not useful, I may know how to do a yajna, but, but it is not going to bring me any fruit, so in karma kanda, no, knowledge is necessary, how to do the yajna, but doing the yajna is also necessary, otherwise there is no fruit which will accrue. In fact, it is said that those who study the karma kanda without actually doing anything, based on karma kanda, they go to greater darkness, says the Ishavasya Upanishad. Greater darkness as in the result is more ajnana. If you study and you don't do, then that is not agreeable to uh, sampradaya. To Shruti itself it is not agreeable, so what you have, you have to practice karma kanda. It cannot be just theoretical study. So there are a lot of people who do charcha over what the yajna was and this is what. But what about doing the yajna, sir? Nobody is doing the yajna. So there is just discussion on that. All that is uh, worse than doing the yajna for purushartha siddhi. So sarve api ete yajna vidaha. Yajnya kshapita kalmasha, yajnya hi yatukte hi kshapita ha nashita ha kalmasha yeshamte, yajnya kshapita kalmasha ha. So what happens is that just knowing the yajnya you are not getting anything, your papaksha is not happening. If you offer them as uh, unto the Lord you offer that yajnya, then only it becomes uh, kalmasha remover. Yajnya kshapita kalmasha, so yajnya na kshapita ha kalmasha yeshamte, nashita ha. Yathoktaihi, yajna as they have dis been described in the uh, Shruti and Smritis, the way you do that yajna, the, only if in that manner if you do the yajna, then, then this shapita is nashita, kalmasha is papa. So papa is destroyed based on the yajna that you do due to the yajna phala and yeshamte, they are yajna shapita kalmashaha. All these yajna, sarve api yete yajna. Whichever yajna which I have talked about, all those yajnas can be done as an offering unto the Lord. Evam, so what is the anvaya here? Uh, okay, I will leave this to you. This is, don't get confused, this is Prathama, Bhuvachana and Juvati is plural. Other than that you can fill in so that we can spend some time on Bhashya. Evam yathoktan yajna. So let's do the anvaya. Apare niyatahara pranan pranesha juvati sarve api yati yajna. Anvaya is as is. No change. It can remain as is. So no change. Evam yathoktan yajna nirvartya. Having discussed these yajnas as described nirvartya. Yajna Yajna Shishtamrata Bhujo Yanti Brahma Sanatanam Nayan Loko Yajna Sya Kuto Anya Kuru Sattama So hey Kuru Sattama Kuru Sattama is Kuru Naam Shreshta Arjuna is said that he is best among the Kuru descendants in the Kuru family So hey Kuru Sattama Hey Kuru Sattama Yajna Shishtam Rata Bhujaha Yajna, all these Yajna which are talked about, Sarve Api Yajna Yajna Shishta Shishtam Rata Bhujaha This is a Upapada Tatpurusha Bhungte or uh, what, Yajna Shishta Whatever is left from the Shishta meaning remaining from Yajna Meaning whichever has been offered to the yajna, whether it is, see, whether you consume prana, you, it can be extended to all uh, yajnas because you are utilizing all of these, but you take literally with yajna. 
any yajna you are doing where you have offerings made, whatever is left from offering that becomes prasada. So that is the prasada buddhi. And what is left shishta, yajna shishta meaning the prasada which comes from that, that is amruta. Yajna, yajna shishta amruta, that amruta one bhunte, one partakes and that itself is his meal. The person eats only after offering to the Lord. Anything that one does, that is prasada buddhi and thereby yanti brahma sanatanam, kramena. Sanatana Brahma, that Brahma which is Nitya Brahma, Sad Brahma, Sanatana means Sad Brahma, Anadhyaya and Ananta Brahma, that is Sanatana, Yanti, Yanti Gachanti, so they attain, attain that Brahma, so this can be taken as Krama Mukti or Krama Mukti meaning that person will attain other Lokas and through that the Loka, there he may, in Brahma Loka, he may get Jnana and thereby these people may get Mukti. Otherwise, you can say Kramena because this will lead to Chitta Shuddhi and then through Chitta Shuddhi Jnana and then Yanti Brahma Sanatram. What about people who do not do any of these Yajnas? All these varieties of Yajnas have been mentioned. What about them who, those people who do not do any Yajna? So thereby, Ayajna. One becomes Ayajna. So Ayajna Sya. Ayam lokaha nasti, na asti. Yajna shishta, amruta bhujaha, sanatana, sanatanam, brahma, yanti. Whereas others, who are this ayajna, what about one who does not have any yajna? One who has yajna is here, but uh, yajna nasti asya. Any of this, ayajna means any of these yajnas, not even one which has been mentioned here, that kind of an ayajna, what happens to him? Ayajna sya ayam lokaha nasti. This loka is not there because what he is experiencing is all thinking vishaya sukha. So what Bhagavan Bhashyagara says there is, Na ayam lokaha, what is that? Sarva prani sadharana api, this loka which is common to everyone. Api asti yathoktanam yajnanam eka api yajnya yasya nasti sa yajnya tasya kutaha anya vishishta sadhana sadhya kuru sattama. She does not have this loka itself. Why? Because he has taken birth for this loka to enjoy this here, but this, if he does not do this yajnya, then this loka he will not get again. He may not get this loka again and right now itself this loka he cannot get sukha. What sukha he may be getting that may be due to earlier janma. But this, this loka further these experiences won't last because you are not putting any punya inside. Thereby ayam lokaha ayajnasya nasti ayajnasya ayam lokaha nasti kutaha kutaha Anyaha lokaha, anya lokaha kutaha. So rhetoric here, figure. Anya lokaha kutaha. So how can there be other loka? Whether it is anya loka after death or you call, call this atma loka itself. Anya loka is an atma loka. For that person, atma is anya. Because he is not working towards it. So purusharata siddhi will not be there. Whether hereafter, into Swarga Loka Ityadi or the Purusharata Siddhi here as in Moksha. That will, how will that be there when there is no Chitta Shuddhi? One is not working for Chitta Shuddhi through any Yajna. This is the meaning of the 31st Shloka. Evam Bhavvida Yajna Vitata Brahmano Mukhe Karma Jan Vidyatan Sarvan Evanyatva Vimoksha Se. So Evam Bhavvida Yajna. Brahmano Mukhe Vitataha. Mukhe here is uh, Mukhe na kind of a meaning. They are put inside, put in the mouth of the Brahma. Brahma here is Brahma here is Veda. Brahma also has the meaning of Veda. So Veda Mukhe. And Veda Mukhe here is Veda Mukhe na. So Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that this uh, 
So Tiyarth it has been used because there is uh, Mukha is used for that kind of a meaning. So here he says Brahmano Mukhe Vidata Uchyante. What is that? Uh, Mukhe is Dware. Vaya. Vaya the through the mouth of. So that Dware is. So Mukhe has the meaning of Dwara. Veda Dware na Ityartha. So Brahma, Brahmana Mukhe or Brahma Mukhe means Brahma Dware means Veda Dware means Veda Dware na. So through the uh, through the through the Shruti, through Veda, Avagavya Manaha. So what is he saying? Veda Dwarena Avagavya Manaha, Brahmano Mukhe Vitata Uchyante. So they are said to be in the mouth of, they are said to be in the mouth of Vedas, in the mouth of, because this Veda as if it is talking. So these, all these Yajnas are described via Vedas, they have, are prapta, they are understood via Vedas. Therefore, they said to be, they are said to be in the mouth of Vedas. And he gives pramana for that, tadyatha vachi hi pranam juhumaha ityadaya. So, Aitriya Arinaka uses that vachi. So, with vachi saptami, so pranam juhuma. So, with that he says that uh, this saptami has to be understood that they are in Brahma's mukha, meaning that they are understood via Veda mukha, Brahma mukha. So, Bahuvidaha, several yajnas are there which are prapta, which are understood through the uh, Vedas. So, evam Bahuvida yajnaha Brahmana, Brahmana Mukhe Vitataha. But what are those? Karmajan Vidhi Tan Sarvan. Tan Sarvan, may you know them, Dot Lakara Madhya Purusha Ekochana Vidhi. Tan Sarvan Karmajan Vidhi. Know them to be karma, Karmanaha Jataha. Karmanaha Jataha is Karmaja. That which is born through Karma. Panchami here. Karmanaha Jataha. That which is born from Karma. These Yajnas are all Karma. They are all born from Karma. So Tan Sarvan Yajnan Karmajan Vidhi. And knowing that what? Evam Nyatva Vimoksha say. You will be freed. How? Because all this karma cannot result in anything more than Chitta Shuddhi for a sadhaka. Whatever Kamya karma does, that is, that phala is limited. What, if you know that these yajnas are karmaja and then you don't fall into the trap of karma phala and do them without kartrutto bhava, you will no longer be a bhukta and thereby Chitta Shuddhi dwarena Jnana prapyate, you will get jnana and thereby evam jnatva vimoksha same. Not only knowing this, knowing this you will withdraw from them. You will withdraw from kamya karma, you will do only nitya nemitya karma and whatever has been said here that yajna, vaya these yajnas, what will happen is that you land in jnana yajna and thereby jnatva vimoksha same. This is the vimoksha same, you will be freed. This is the idea. In future, so Kramena, Kramena is indicated by Ritlakara here. What Bhagavan Bhashyakara says is, Na madhvyapara ime nirvyaparo aham udasina ityam nyatva. So evam nyatva, he takes evam elsewhere. Whatever has been ex explained in jnana part. He says karmajan meaning kaika vachika manasa karmod bhavan. These are activities involved there in that karma. Whatever yajnas you are doing, they are kaika vachika karma, uh, uh, kaika vachika manasika karma. These are the, these are involved. You have to, in any yajna, you have to use all of your uh, karmendriyas, kaika. Vachika, you have to use mantras, you have to chant mantras or some shlokas, ityadi are there. So, thereby kaika, uh, vachika. And manasa, because you have to have that vritti also. Even if you are doing some chanting within, sankalpa, ityadi, or uh, doing dhyana of the ishta devata or whichever yajna devata is there. So, all manasa. Karmod or upasana, you are doing upasana also. So, karmajan, kaika vachika, manasa karmod bhavan vidhi, know them to be. Tan sarvan, all of them. Meaning what? Anatma jan. They are not atma. They are not atma. They are all anatma. If you know this, then what do you know? Nirvyaparuhi Atma. So, the, it is hinted there that 
all these are karmajan so what all these are karmajan no you are nirvyapara atma is nirvyapara so what you are indulging in that is all anatma nirvyaparo hi atma i do not have any vyapara and with that understanding when you are doing this these are being done by sharira guna guneshu vartante ata evam nyatma once you know that that i am nirvyapara this is all vyapara not being done by me i am doing this for chitta shuddhi chitta is also anatma there but in that chitta brahmakara vritti will take place jnana will take place in that chitta shuddha shuddha chitta i am doing this for that purpose and i am akarta even now i am akarta but i do not have aparoksha jnana i know have on shraddha in shastra and acharya but right now i do not have that i will get that in time and i'll know get as in get that knowledge that i am already free so nirvaparo hi atma atha evam nyatva vimoksha se ashubhat which has been said earlier you will at least become free from papa and in the end punya also thereby mukta namad vyaparo ime nirvyaparo ham udasina ityam nyatva asmat samyak darshana not from this yajna knowing yajna but from samyak darshana asmat samyak darshanat moksha se sansara bandhanat ityartha end result will be jnana and moksha uh, so final ashubha will be that samsaritvam itself is ashubha you will be freed from that kramena so he closes that section krishna bhagwan krishna closes this section and then he says what is the moral of this section bhagwan bhashakara introduced the next shloka by saying brahmarpanam ityadi shlokena samyak darshanasya yajnatvam sampaditam so jnana yajna is samyak darshana that itself becomes yajna and it began at brahmarpanam in that shloka it was jnana yajna then he through that into other yajna so that you compare with other yajna yajnas cha aneke upadishta other yajnas have also been mentioned here they have been taught aneke not here elsewhere they have been taught here they have been just mentioned and hinted taihi siddha purushartha prayojanaihi jnanam stuyate and taihi yajnaihi through those yajna siddha purushartha prayojanaihi vichar prayojana for siddha purushartha for purushartha siddhi basically jnana is praised katham how is that how is it that jnana is praised so it is clear in the shloka itself shreyan dravyamaya yajna jnana yajna parantap sarvam karma kilam partha jnane parisamapyate in second chapter it was said which is reminded here that one will become krutakritya so sarvata sarva sampludotaka stani so bhashakara says that he reminds us of that shloka in the second chapter this dravyamaya all these yajnas are what shreya shreyan dravyamaya yajna jnana yajna parantap jnana yajna he parantap he parantap he parantap shreyan is one one shreyan shreyas is the pratipadika shreyan he parantap dravyamayat yajna of compared to all the yajna which are dravyamaya they have dravya involved some material is involved dravya here can be material in some material means kaika all these are kaika manasika vach kaika and uh, all the kaya manasa vacha only you do uh, there is no uh, other things uh, anatma alone is involved in all these so dravyamaya they are all dravya so dravyamaya yajna jnana yajna shreyan bhavati it is shreyan shreyan bhavati he partha again he calls him as partha he does sambodhana there and says what he partha sarvam karma akhilam sarvam karma all karma akhilam means khilam na vidyate asya there is no khila there is no division so akhila means completely without anything left over entire karma so sarvam akhilam karma sarvam akhilam karma it qualifies karma all karma jnane parisamapyate 
where do they conclude where do they have uh, have uh, where are they merging the all the rivers merge into samudra similarly or karma will have their end goal met only in jnana elsewhere they will be limited and you will have to keep on doing karma when will karma come to a full stop on jnana that is the eka vakyata of the shruti karma kanda is also tuned towards jnana kanda vaya chitta shuddhi you land into all the avantara vakyas avantara vakyas are those which do not lead talk about aikya but then they also give different phalas upasana ityadi chitta shuddhi and then they give you various sadhanas and then with chitta shuddhi and uh, even various prakriyas are teaching the mahavakya ekavakyata wherein brahma and atma aikya has talked has been talked about that is the jnana and they are all tuned towards that ekavakyata that jnana so jnane parisamaptyate they will conclude only when they will come to a come to a full stop only when jnana is attained and bhagwan bhashyakar reminds us of the second uh, chapter shloka what does he say see dravyamaya yajna and jnana yajna what is the comparison dravyamaya hi yajna phalasya arambaka it will give some phala jnana yajna na phala arambaka means karma phala arambaka na bhavati it will not give any karma phala it will give chitta shuddhi which is not the target of that karma which is not meant to the karma is not meant for chitta shuddhi actually it is meant for chitta shuddhi but uh, shruti does not talk about that may, as main phala it talks about it gives it paints a glorious picture it tells you look at this phala look at this phala if you want that you are trapped so shruti tests you via the main phala but then it tells you actually this is not the main phala i am just showing you this phala but really main phala is that which will lead you to the main purushartha and thereby all the karmas have their phala as chitta shuddhi for a sadhaka so but if you consider a karma kanda literally what is the phala that phala the jnana yajna does not give karma yajna this dravyamaya yajna will also not give if you do it as a sadhana but otherwise phalasya arambaka and jnana yajna phala arambaka na bhavati ata shreyan therefore it is the most superior and then he says samastam akya shalya yeah sarvata samplutu tata sthaniye there was shloka which was said that all karma the way small water bodies all the prayojana that is there in the small water bodies is there in the in a huge water body so if you get that you are don't dig a well any more you, you have got a river now next to you your house you got a river so all the all that effort which you are making to find water is no longer needed all the effort is has paid up similarly once jnana phala is attained all the karma phala is as though attained as well attained because you are krita kritya you are doing it for ananda moksha leads to ananda therefore parisamapyate antarbhavati ityartha they are included in them in the jnana phala so that is and then he quotes a shruti pramana chandogya shruti for this so that's the anvaya here tad etat vishishta jnanam tarhi kena prapyate chichyate so tad etat vishishta jnana this particular jnana that you talk about tarhi kena prapyate through what means it how is it attainable what is the means for this how do i how do i go about it i want it how do i go about it iti uchyate that is being answered iti you can iti uchyate or you can say iti iti prashnah iti prashnah ke uchyate if there is a question as to how this knowledge can be attained tad viddi pranipatena pari prashnena sevaya upadekshyanti te jnanam jnaninas tattva darshinah so tad viddi tad viddi pranipatena tad viddi pranipatena pari prashnena sevaya upadekshyanti te jnanam jnaninah tattva darshinah tattva darshinah jnaninah those 
ज्ञानीज हु हैव अटेन्ड द नॉलेज एंड देयर बाय दे हैव द विजन ऑफ द तत्व सो दिस इज तत्वदर्शी इज ज्ञानी कैन बी एनी एनी वन हु हैज नॉलेज बट कैन बी परोक्ष ज्ञानी आल्सो बट तत्वदर्शी ना मींस अपरोक्षत्व मींस टॉक अबाउट ज्ञान और वो साक्षात्कार व्हाट इज कॉल्ड अ साक्षात्कार सो दोस हैव साक्षात्कार ते तव तत्वदर्शी ना ज्ञानी ना ते तव और सॉरी तुभ्यम आल्सो तुभ्यम इज बेटर तुभ्यम ज्ञानम उपदेशयन्ति दे विल टीच यू they will teach you the means also and they will teach you you they will give you the knowledge also they will teach you upadekshanti they will teach how if so pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya tad vidhi so Uh, how should you get that knowledge knowledge that knowledge jnana vidhi how pranipatena through namaskara ityadi to the sampradaya acharya you do namaskara pranipatena pray prashnena you ask them questions and sevaya do seva so thereby they will be trupta so there are you see any even for bhagwan you don't go and ask for ask for something first you pray so this is this is human nature but here you are here you have to show shraddha in the sampradaya that i know that i cannot get knowledge by self study any other knowledge may be possible see you take you take an example of uh, your own i mean the people who think that they can get knowledge by self study why not i am sharp enough i have phd's or i have done engineering in the best of the universities around the world why can't i get knowledge why studying this is a very valid question now to these kind of people there is another valid question i'll ask which kind of a doctor do you go to one who has studied in a particular university in the sampradaya of medical medicine or do you go to a doctor for uh, treatment whatever treatment you want to a doctor who has self studied you don't go to a doctor why because you want to protect yourself similarly here but when it comes to this particular vedanta people don't want to approach an acharya very funny you know it's uh, whatever is valuable they think that i will get in uh, universities but they don't go to sampradaya acharya for the same purpose the knowledge is retained the way it has to be explained otherwise the shlokas and mantras are apparent apparently they they uh, on the face of it if you interpret they are contradictory that contradiction can be resolved only through this bhashya tika this sampradaya it has been handed and we say that sada shiva samarambha or from narayana narayana sada shiva for us there is no difference from bhagwan it has, it has started and that sampradaya is retained so we learn from them and how why should anyone teach so they teach only if you have shraddha in them so therefore seva pari prashna you how do you know if that somebody is learning what are the doubts they will go only by prashna so prashna is one way to also please and show that you know show that you are getting it or you are not getting it thereby the acharya can resolve the doubts pranipatena with namaskara ityadi sampradaya so anyway that is the meaning let's look at uh, if there is something important that bhashyakara says सो आचार्य अगम्य प्रणिपाते प्रकर्षेण नीचे पतन प्रणिपात दीर्घ नमस्कार तेन कथम बंद सो वॉट आर दि क्वेश्चन सो नमस्कार एन यू एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड कथम बंद कथम मोक्ष का विद्या का चा विद्या परिप्रश्न वॉट कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दीज कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज दिस बॉन्डेज हाउ कैन वॉट इज मोक्ष दीज आर ऑल उपलक्षण वॉट इज विद्या वॉट इज अविद्या परिप्रश्न सेवया गुरु शुश्रूषया एवदिना कथयती ते ज्ञान यथोक्त विशेषण ज्ञानी सो नाउ हि से ज्ञानवंत अचि यथावत्तत्वर्शनशील अपरेन सो सम कैन बी ज्ञानी बट दे डोंट हैव दिस तत्वदर्शन दे डोंट हैव दे मे हैव बुकिश नॉलेज और दे मे हैव दैट इज वॉट इज कॉल परोक्ष ज्ञान अपरेन और दे मे बी कमिटेड टू सम अदर मार्ग सो दे ऑल्सो कैन बी कॉल्ड एज ज्ञानी इन अदर संप्रदाय बट यथावत तत्वदर्शनशील नपरे देर फोर 
तत्वदर्शन शीला हैज बीन स्पेसिफिकली मेन्शन बाय दिस मिनी प्रत्यय तत्वदर्शन तत्व दर्शित शीलम ये शाम थे दे आर तत्वदर्शिन दो स्कैंड ऑफ ज्ञानी हुई निष्ठा मुंडक उपनिषद गिव्स टू क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर अ फॉर एन आचार्य फॉर अ गुरु वॉट कैंड ऑफ गुरु शुड वन अप्रोच श्रोत्रिय ब्रह्मनिष्ठम so one should approach shrotri and brahmanishta so brahmanishta is being indicated here and jnani indicates the jnanavanta indicates this jnani nah that indicates shrotriyatvam shrotriyatvam that itself is technical the uh, person should have studied in the sampradaya so general meaning is said that shrotriyatvam is that one who has studied in the sampradaya but technically that meaning which is given in dharma shastras Uh, for a shrotriya shrotriya is a little technical in the sense that there are three qualifications mentioned for uh, one to be a uh, shrotriya and brahmanishta one cannot know others brahmanishta but generally we can infer what all does the person do thereby we infer at least shrotriyatvam we can know therefore it is encouraged for a person to approach a guru who is shrotriya bare minimum he should be shrotriya and then brahmanishta also is uh, another qualification that is shown by tattva darshan shila atah vishinashti tattva darshan iti so therefore the uh, qualifies this by saying that not all kinds of gnanis may be uh, gurus only tattva darshan shila and he says ye samyak darshin ha taihi upadishtam gnanam karma karyakshamam bhavati netarat iti bhagavato matam why he says that because only that kind of knowledge which is given by sampradaya acharya who has aprokshya jnana that can attain the karya which is avidya nasha not others others may keep on teaching but they themselves do not have nishta they keep on doing anything and everything they are not committed themselves so what will they give you uh, elsewhere in uh, jivan mukti viveka vidyarnacharya raises a question a puro paksha somebody asks when he is discussing yajnavalkya he says that yajnavalkya asks for uh, all the cows to be taken home uh, taken to his ashrama when uh, janaka announced he says that you you can take 1000 cows 1000 cows is huge but it's not a big deal but 1000 cows uh, ordained with uh, gold ornaments so they will be decorated with gold ornaments so gold is what uh, cattle is wealth but gold is more wealth and he says that even without participating in the sabha which was a jnana sabha he said that he asked his shishyas to take away the cows so uh, then he when questioned then he participated in the sabha he answered all, and one over all that is there in the brihad upanishad bradharnika but jivan mukti viveka raises this doubt when he did that then that time he had this this raga he, he had pride that i i am the best of jnanis he did have that which is called as uh, vidya maya with lot of scholarship pandityam there, there can be pride which is not good but there the puropakshi questions as to whether yajnavalkya did not have uh, uh, have uh, aparoksha jnana then this is a puropaksha but uh, what was said there is that to get away from this pride to drop that pride and have uh, jivan mukti आनंद अनुभव याज्ञमल्क्या टुक टू विद्वत सन्यासा दैट सन्यासा दैट ही टुक इज कॉल्ड एज विद्वत सन्यासा देन व्हाट इज द नॉलेज ही हैड डिड ही हैव नॉलेज व्हिच इज परोक्ष ज्ञान और अपरोक्ष ज्ञान सो पूर्वोक्ष इज देन ही डिड नॉट हैव अपरोक्ष ज्ञान टू दिस द विद्यारण्यचार्य आंसर सेज दैट इट इज नॉट ट्रू व्हाई वेरी नाइस आंसर ही सेज दैट वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम दिस संप्रदाय ऑफ याज्ञमल्क्या through bhradarnaka shruti we have learnt a lot there is nothing that is not there in that shruti bhradarnaka is really huge it may take a lifetime to study that for us that kind of knowledge is attained from yajnavalkya and i know my knowledge is aparoksha and he says that since our knowledge is aparoksha and we have learnt from yajnavalkya his knowledge has to be aparoksha so very nice analysis he says this is the this is shraddha इन संप्रदाय दैट इज वॉट इज स्टडी ये सम्यक दर्शन तई ही उपदिष्ट ज्ञान दो आर अपरोक्ष ज्ञानी इज बाय देम वॉट एवर इज टॉट दैट गिव्स दी अपरोक्ष फला न इतरत भगवत मतम दैट इज वॉट 
even Krishna means. So, yeah, Pranipatena, Pari Prashnena, Sevaya, you can add Cha, Cha, Tadvidhi, Tatvadarshina Jnana, Te Jnana Upadikshanti, Upadikshanti. Tathaja Sati Idam, Api Samartham Vachanam, and he says, Tathaja Sati Idam Api Samartham Vachanam. This is also now related to the above. He says, once this happens, then what? Once you have been taught, then what is possible? What will happen? This will become Samartha. What is that? Yajna Atvana Punar Moham, Evam Yasya Si Pandava, Yena Bhutan Yasheshena, Drakshasya Atman Yathomai. Yajnyatva, yaj, Brahmatmanam Nyatva, Yajnanam Nyatva. What is that Jnanam? That is Chid Brahma, Sad Brahma, Ananta Brahma, Ananda Brahma, that Brahma, which is Brahmatma, which is not separate from you. That is the Tattva Darshana. Yajnyatva, Punaha Moham, Evam, Punaha Evam, Evam, Yad Evam Nyatva, you can say. Yad Evam Nyatva, Punaha. Moham na yasyasi. You will not attain that moha. I have seen to swap it. So, let's swap it. So, evam yata punaha moham na yasyasi. You will not attain moha again. He pandava yena bhutani asheshena drakshasi atmani ataha mai. Should be atho. Atho itself is a should be Atho, I think. Atho is a, I think the Avya is Atho. Yeah, I think, yeah, Atho. So, Atho Mai, Atho Mai, Asheshena Bhutani Mai, Asheshena Bhutani Mai Drakshasi, or Mai Asheshena Bhutani Drakshasi, Mai Atmani, and then he says, Atmani also. Mai and Atmani is in Samanadi Karanyam. This is a Mahavakya. Atma, what is the meaning of Atma? Myself. And what is Mai? Krishna is saying. So Krishna, in Krishna you will see who is me. So he pandu yena atho, atho yena, he atho yena mai atmani asheshena bhutani drakshasi. Not mama atmani. Or not Mai, only Atmani is in Samanadi Karanam with Mai. So you will see Asheshana Bhutani Drakshas, you will see everything in me, the entire Prapancha. So that uh, the Darshana of the Vishwa Darshana, the entire Virat Darshana, you will have in yourself. So this is the uh, Moksha, Mohamnayati. So you will attain Moksha in this manner. So this is said here. Let's look at Bhashya Kuti before we close. Yajnyatva yajnanam taihi upadishtam adhigamya prapya. Having attained that jnana which is taught by them, by jnaninaha, which kind of jnanina? Tattva darshina jnanina. So, prapya punaha bhuyaha moyam moham evam yatha idani moham gato asi punaha evam na yasyasi he pandava. So, I said evam nyatva, he puts evam as in the evam, the way you have moha right now. That way you will not have. It can be used either way. Yasyasi he Pandava. Again you will not come to samsara. You will not be confused. The way you are right now. Kincha yena jnana yena bhutani asheshani. Brahmadini stambha pariyantani. All the bhutas, all the living beings. From Brahma, Chaturmukha Brahma to a blade of grass. Drakshasi sakshat atmani, pratyag atmani. In your own self, own innermost self. How? Matsani Imani Bhutani. They are all in me. What I, what I said in the earlier shlokas. Iti atho api mai vasudeve parameshware te imani. And imani iti. So what is said as in Vasudeva, that is in you. You are, there is no difference between the two. Shetrajne Ishwari Ekatvam Saropanishad Prasidam Drakshasi Ityartha. Kshetrajya, Ishura, Ekatvam, Kshetrajya, so Kshetra and Kshetrajya, Kshetra is Anatma, uh, Sharira 
and Kshetrajnya is Shariri, who knows the Kshetra, who knows the Sharira, is Kshetrajnya, who is Ishwara. So Kshetrajnya is says to be Ishwara, but Ekatvam, with oneself. Kshetrajnya is actually, Kshetrajnya is an individual. Kshetram Janati, Shariram Janati, it is Shariri. Shariri, 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 but Shariram Janati, it is Shariragnya, and Sharira is Kshetra. All the Shariras you know, you objectify, so you know yourself as a Sakshi to them. Thereby you have Tvampadartha Jnana, and Ishwara Jnana you have as Tattpadartha Jnana. But Ekatvam between them, which is Tattvamasi Vakya. And Tattvamasi Vakya is only one Vakya among many, not only four, across four Vedas, among many, hundreds of Vakyas. Saro Upanishad Prasidam, therefore he says, in all Upanishads, they are very well known these uh, to a person who has studied, that is the Tatparya. So, Drakshasi Ityartha, Drakshasi is, you, you will know, you will see this, uh, you will have this vision, vision is not actually seeing, but seeing is, you will, the cognitive resolution of anything other than you will happen. And then, every other being, Sarvatma Bhava is that, that all the Shariras are resolved into one Atma, there cannot be segmentation in that single Atma, therefore what I am is what everyone is and thereby there is no everyone, there is nobody who is separate from me, I alone am there and that is the, uh, the Aikya between Brahma and me. Brahma alone is there, I alone am there, the, I do not limit him, he does not limit me, we are one because there is Aikya, Nirguna Brahma, that Brahmatma Ahamasmi, that is the, uh, the the Mahavakya Siddhi here. We will see the uh, next and hopefully complete the uh, chapter in the next part half. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Any questions? What's the question, Anna? Can you Hello? Hear? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this the word Dravya Mayat. Yeah. So it is Panchami. Uh, but is it a Samasa? Dravya Mayat. Uh, Dravya Mayat. Mayat. Yeah, Mayat is Panchami. Yeah. So. Is it a samasa or what is the mayat mayat pratyaya? Uh, mayat is a tadhita, so mayat anta. So uh, mayat, so mayat is generally in prachuri arthe. There is an excess of dravya, or which has dravya. So uh, uh, or it can be dravya itself. So swarupa arthe also it is possible. Um, so in that sense, maya mayat pratyaya is used. Prachurya generally, where there is excess of something in excess is used. So here Dravya Maya, you have uh, Dravya is used in excess. Okay. Based on, so you can say based on Dravyas. Yajnas which are based, uh, primary, uh, primary what is involved, Dravyas are involved, material is involved. All these are material, based on material. 
So he says, see, dravya sadhya, sadhana sadhya, he brings out a meaning. Dravya maya means what their material is used. Why material is used? Because that material which is offered will lead to something. So dravya is the sadhana for some sadhya. Uh, I, I don't mm-hmm. think you can see the screen, right? No. Okay. So, yeah. so I was showing the picture. Yeah. Can you see the screen now? Oh, wait, it's coming. Yeah, now? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, see, see, Dravya Mayat is commented as Dravya Sadhana Sadhya. So Dravya Maya, where there is Prachuri of Dravya. Why do you use Dravya? Any Dravya, why why only that particular Dravya? Because in a particular area, for particular Devata, particular Dravya is needed. So you use excess of some uh, Dravya and please the DT. So that Dravya becomes a Sadhana for some Sadhya, whatever is a Phala to be attained. So Dravya Mayat Yajna is Dravya Sadhana Sadhya Yajna. That Yajna which can, for the means for which is Dravya. That is the meaning for Dravya Maya. Okay. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. So, Namaste. Anyone else? No. I'll see you in the next part. Namaste.